in this class we're going to look at what happens when you use additive color theory to predict what colors will be produced if you're using beams of colored light. So in this experiment we have blue light, green light, and a red light. And the three spotlights are being shone on, the, uh, on, one, on one area of, a, say, a white screen. And where the two, where the circles of light intersect, you get new colors being formed. Where so where blue and green intersect, we see that it forms the color cyan. Where blue and red intersects, we get magenta. And where green and red intersects, we get yellow. And that allows us to predict what colors will be formed when we uh, we mix those three different uh, basic colors. Now, if you have a yellow light, which is formed from the intersection of red and green light, what color is missing in order to get white light? Well, the answer is blue. If you have magenta light, what color is missing so that you can get white light? The answer is green. And lastly, uh, when you have cyan, the missing color would be red in order to give you white light. And that's what we answered over here. We see that yellow plus blue gives you white, cyan plus red gives you white, magenta plus green gives you white. We should develop a strategy for memorizing the color wheel, and I've written that over here. The question was, describe a strategy you would use to memorize the color wheel. And one way to do it is to draw a larger triangle and put blue, green, red at, on the outside. Those are the primary colors. And then the way those primary colors mix will give you cyan, uh, magenta, and yellow. So you memorize BGR alphabetically and you memori memorize CMY alphabetically. And it'll help you reconstruct the color wheel that we used in the first board. In subtractive color theory, what happens is we have white light shining through colored filters. Uh, so you can shine white light through a yellow filter, through a cyan filter, or a magenta filter. I apologize for my representation of magenta. It's not exactly magenta. Magenta is more of a pinkish red color. We can predict what colors will result from the placing the filters in front of a white light source using the subtractive color wheel. So now what's happening is the white light is shining through the filters and producing the different colors. If you place a magenta and a yellow filter in front of a white light source, you'll get red shining through. If you place a cyan and a yellow filter in front of a white light source, green will make its way through. And if you place magenta and cyan in front of a white light, then blue is what will make its way through. And that's what we've answered here. White light minus uh, magenta and yellow, represented here, allows red to shine through, nevertheless. It's the one color that doesn't get absorbed by these two filters. If you have white light shining through a yellow and a cyan filter, green will get through. If you have white light shining through a magenta plus a cyan filter, then blue still gets through. So when we ask the question, what color has been subtracted from white light in order to see cyan, uh, the answer is red. What color has been subtracted from white light in order to see magenta? The answer is green. And then finally, what color has been subtracted from white light in order to see yellow? And the answer is 